John Brumby, former Victorian state premier, is confident that China will continue to be the world's single largest driver of the economic growth and opportunities in my lifetime. He made the remarks during an exclusive interview with Xinhua at the reception by Chinese embassy in Australia on Canberra Networking Day of the Australia-China Business Council, of which Brumby serves as the national president. He said if you look at Australia in December quarter, the GDP grew quite strongly and the yearly growth is above estimate. A large part of the drive is China. And so while it's true that uh, prices have dropped dramatically in the resources area, in tourism, Chinese spending and tourists are up by nearly 30 percent. In international education, China is number one and the number of students are up significantly again. And in all of these areas, um, property investment, foreign direct investment, agricultural exports, dairy exports are up dramatically. Brumby said that higher the expected growth rate in Australia can be attributed to the large part to the transition of Chinese economy from an investment-led economy to a consumer-led economy. And it means more services, it means more students, it means more tourists, it means more beef, more mutton, more wool being exported to China. Brumby accepted that China's growth will slow. He said almost impossible to imagine that China would continue to grow at 10% every year. But on a Chinese GDP of 10 trillion US dollars, if China grows just 6%, it's adding 600 billion US dollars of the new economic growth to the world's economic growth, almost a third of the world's new economic growth comparing to the 10 years ago, while Chinese economy was 3 trillion with a growth of 10%, he said there were more growth and more opportunities.